What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video and welcome to part 14 of our 1000 horsepower 2JZ build series. Today we're going to be degreeing these GSC S2 cams. These are the older cast versions, they're not the new billet versions. So if you're looking at your cam card wondering why I'm doing slightly different stuff, that's going to be why. Now I realize a lot of people will go and run these things heads up so you can get some awesome 2J sounds just like this. the people at GSC when it comes to camshaft engineering are a lot smarter than I am and this is what they say to do on our cam card so that's what we're gonna do this is something I did on my previous setup but that was before I swapped over to shimless buckets if you missed that video go ahead and click right up here there were quite a few changes that we had to go and make so we are gonna need to go back and degree the camshafts again with the new clearances and today I'm gonna share that process with you guys before you jump into this yourself you're gonna need the following tools also swivel ratchets also sockets follow the link in the description below and use 2JZ10 for 10% off your first order, a 32 millimeter box wrench, five millimeter Allen wrench, any specialty sockets if applicable. I am using aftermarket cam bolts, so I will need both of these here. A cam degree wheel, dial indicator, preferably one with a magnetic base, a spool of safety wire, and a torque wrench. Before we attach the degree wheel to the crank, we are gonna need to go through and reset the cam gears as well as attach the timing belt. One important note here is that this engine is going to spin clockwise. So any slack is going to want to be right here on this side of the belt. And this should be nice and tight once you set your tensioner. Once that's done, just pull the pin to set the tension and we can get started. The cam degree wheel is going to attach right down here at the crank pulley. So we're going to go ahead and bolt this in. Prior to doing that, however, if you're not 100% sure that your number one piston is the top dead center, all you got to do is look right down here on the timing gear and there will be a little notch pointed to a dot on the oil pump and that'll tell you that your number one piston is top dead center. In order to give yourself a nice clear indication of where the degrees are on the timing wheel, what we're gonna wanna do is take a piece of safety wire and a bolt, go ahead and thread it together and then we're gonna use this as our pointer once we get it threaded to the block right here. We got our safety wire installed right here and as you can see that is indicating exactly zero on top dead center, up to the top. Coming up here, we're gonna to need to attach our dial indicator. This is gonna tell us exactly how much the valve is open as the cam spins over. Whenever you attach this, you're gonna to wanna to put it on the back side of the bucket here, so that that way, that as the engine rotates, cause keep in mind, this rotates clockwise, you're not gonna go and have this lobe right here go and catch on this arm during the rotation. All right, now that we got this set up here, if you look right back here, you can see it is just barely on the edge of that bucket right there. Uh, that's as close as I could get it. It was kind of a tough squeeze. Uh, and then whenever you are looking at the actual dial indicator itself, you're gonna have a bit of free play right here. You can see uh, this is actually the top part of that little aperture arm, and that's gonna go up and down. So you're gonna wanna go and set this dial to zero so that when the bucket actually depresses, you're gonna see this dial go up that way. Now, before we actually jump into the degreeing of the cams themselves, I wanted to give you guys a quick reminder that this is for the GSC S2 cast versions. This is not gonna be the same as doing VVTI or even doing the billet versions or Kelfords or anything like that. So make sure you consult your specific cam card for your particular application because these are not gonna be universal. You gotta make sure you check the cam card that came with your cams. Now that we got this all set up, we're gonna be starting with the intake side over here. This is gonna be measured at 40 thousandths lift. So it's gonna be 40 thousandths on the dial indicator right here at eight degrees before top dead center. So we're actually gonna to need to go and wind this around twice and then stop right down here when we get to eight degrees before top dead center. And then we're gonna be bumping the adjustable cam gears right here over until we get that 40 thousandths lift right here. So now you can see we got eight degrees before top dead center. Top dead center is here. This is our indicator that we installed originally. And then we got eight degrees here, which means now we get to loosen these guys. And now I'm gonna take my 32 millimeter wrench. We're gonna put it on its hex right back here and I'm gonna rotate the camshaft this way toward me until we get 40 thousandths of lift on this indicator right here. Oop. There we go. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this in here. We gotta kind of look under the timing belt, but this is almost exactly 4 thousandths lift. 
which means this intake side is now good to go. So I'm gonna go through and tighten up all these cam gear bolts and we're gonna move over to the exhaust side. Awesome, so those are locked in place. I will go ahead and torque those down here in just a little bit. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and move to the exhaust side. First step is gonna be moving the motor down to 58 degrees before bottom dead center. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, pretty similar story here. We got bottom dead center right over here. So this is 58 degrees before bottom dead center. Our dial indicator is zeroed out. Now we're gonna crack open the cam gears on this side. Got our wrench on the hex. We're gonna pull real slow because we don't wanna overshoot. Now that we got that done, if you did wanna go and double check this, what you would need to do is check and see when the valve closes. As long as your latch is set properly, the intake valve is gonna close at 47 degrees after bottom dead center, and the exhaust valve is gonna close at two degrees before top dead center. If either of those measurements is off dramatically, you probably messed up the valve latch somewhere, and you're gonna to wanna to go back and double check that. And that, my friends, is how you degree camshafts on a 2J. Uh, part of the reason you're gonna to wanna to do this is just because it gives you a nice, smooth idle, especially once you get into those higher lift cam profiles. So just kind of helps smooth that out a little bit. You don't get as much popcorn. It's easier. information out of it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up we got lots more coming down the pipeline we still got super stuff we got gtr stuff we got all kinds of stuff coming be sure to stay tuned and i will see y'all very soon in the next one catch you next time